The following example um, shows how to multiply binomials. Um, to do this, I'm going to use what's called the smiley face method, and you'll watch as my uh, a smiley face develops. Well, but the real thing is to understand what you're doing, and that is each term in the first binomial, so 3x, is multiplied by both terms in the second. So 3x times 2x gives me 6x squared. 3x times 5 gives me 15x. Then I move on to the second one, which is negative 4, and I'm going to multiply it times both um, both variables, or both things in the second binomial. So negative 4 times 2x gives me a negative 8x, and negative 4 times 5 gives me a negative 20. And if you look, you can see the eyebrows and the nose between the 4 and the 2x, and then the, the mouth there at the bottom. I, I always look for that pattern to make sure I did it right. The second thing is to add like terms. You can see that 15x minus 8x go together. Right, They're, they they both have a term of x, and so 15 minus 8 is 7, so your final answer is 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. And you are done. You don't try to add anything else up. The, the, nothing else is alike. So in the second one, I'm going to multiply the 3x times the x to get x squared, and then the 3x times the negative 4 to get negative 12xy. When you multiply that, you're multiplying the x times the y also, so it's negative 12xy. And then on the next one, I'm going to multiply 2, and it's going to be... Um, also x, y. I usually try to always put it alphabetical order for, for, for ease sake. And then it's going to be 2y times negative 4 gives me a negative 8y squared. Again, I look for like terms. Well, this one has like terms, x, y. They both have an x and a y in it, so I can add those together. So negative 12 plus, ne plus 2 gives me a negative 10. So I end up with 3x squared minus 10xy minus 8y squared. And that's how you multiply binomials.